accomplishment am I most proud of? I'm not gonna lie, I'd be most proud of like the streams for real. Like I'd be most proud of my streams. Like when I look at it and I'd be like, damn, how I never got a label call and I got 10 million streams dolo sitting in the crib like nobody even knows. I don't even know what's going on. They paperwork is wrong over there. But um What's good? Y'all already know who it is. Damn, y'all heard what he said? Damn. So he's most proud of his streams. He said he got 10 million streams and he's sitting there wondering why hasn't a label called him? That's the question I want to know if I had to ask Lee a question. That's the answer I want to know. Why hasn't he got any calls from labels with you being uh, spicy management? You know, you being his manager, allegedly, because I don't know when you stopped being his manager. Um, damn. I remember a video where you guys were sitting down after Queen got her deal and you said there were uh, labels or a label that wanted mod, but you told them to wait. And over the years, I've been asking that question. Why did you tell them to wait? Um, if I can find the clip, I'll insert it here. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen it. But yeah, that's a pretty good question. And that's why some people, you know, wanted Mod to separate himself from Spicy Gang. As a matter of fact, comment below if you feel like Mod should have been separated himself. Um, and if he did get any benefits from being with Spicy Mafia or Spicy Management, what do you think those benefits were? Like, please comment below. Um, also, he's going to speak on doing songs with Queen and how she owes him a project. Like, she owes him a song, a feature. But he wants to wait because, you know, Queen is so big, such a big star. It's just the way he compares himself to her as if he's not super fire. Like, he's not super lyrical. Like, he can't get rich as fuck if he wanted to write for people or actually just do it himself. You know what I'm saying? He does not need a cosign for real. But anyway... Listen to the rest of these things that he says and comment below. Would you make a song with Chris Sales? I'm not gonna lie, if it was a good song, I'd hop on it. Pause for the hop on. But like, would I be on the song? Like, I don't, I, I feel like people, because of the internet, you guys mistake me like getting the bag for like beefing. I don't got no beef with that nigga. I don't know that nigga enough. I don't got no beef with that nigga. I don't know that nigga enough. I don't got no beef with that nigga. I don't know that nigga enough. To not like him or like really beef with him. It's just like when he try to be funny, I'm gonna get paid. That's all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself, y'all. Like when he hit them high notes in mid sentence, I, I was like, look, Patty, he might have a whole nother uh, talent that he needs to explore. I think that nigga know how to sing. Shit, I don't know that nigga. He said, I ain't got no beef with that nigga. Hey, I ain't got no beef with that nigga. Shit, I don't know that nigga. <laughs> he had me about to add a whole hi-hat, snare, fucking bass line, drums to that bitch. It's like, no, let me stop. But anyway, yeah, so he said he would do a song with Chris Sells. Um, I know a lot of people been, you know, asking for that over the years. You know, just writing it in the comments and saying that it would be fire. Please comment below what you think. I think that shit would be fucking fire. However, his best friend, his buddy, his brother even. <laughs> what is the bear going to think about this? Do you guys think there's... I don't want to say trouble in paradise because it's not... I don't see it as paradise. You know what I mean? I think way back when Lee had her birthday and, you know, Patty did his reaction to it. I believe at that particular time something was going on and we was right. You know what I'm saying? And he also, I think it was Twitter, where he said he was about to be free, you know, to do whatever he wanted to do, as if his contract was up or something like that. That's how we took it anyway, how I took it. So what do y'all think? Um, now he's a free agent. He can work with whoever he want to work with, do whatever he want. I just want y'all opinion on this whole shit. Like, somebody also asked a question about the bear. And I believe he said that's going to always be his his bro or his friend. And then he left it at that. It was no extra shit, which I felt to be kind of odd. You know what I'm saying? Simply because when is Patty not extra? You know, he's very animated, you know? So when he was speaking on the bear, just saying, like, that's going to always be his bro. Maybe because they have a history. 
But I do believe a lot of things have changed. I mean, look, we grow out of people, you know. Also, on uh, one part, Patty was saying um, money, you know, money changed people. You know, in my opinion, money makes you more of who you already was. You know what I mean? If you broke and you an asshole, you're going to be more of an asshole when you get money. If you humble and you sweet or you're a giving person, you're going to be the same. Just maximize, you know, when you get more money, for example. But anyway, y'all, what do y'all think happened? You know what I'm saying? Something, if, the, if it wasn't them growing out of each other, something changed. But anyway, when it comes to Patty and Chris... Yo, I think they would make good friends, like, on some real shit, all jokes aside. And I think they would make good business partners, like, on some real shit. Like, this ain't got nothing to do with throwing shade at the bear or nothing. They're just, they seem more compatible. Um, I think they would make some hilarious videos together. Um, I would love to see some pranks and just all types of videos. I Look, shit, I got a list of ideas if y'all want them. But anyway, um, I would like to hear some music. So y'all comment below and tell me if y'all would love to hear or like to hear a collab with Chris Sells and Mod the God. And y'all could take over the algorithms by doing it like this. Mod the God featuring Chris Sells. You put that one on Chris' channel. Chris Sells featuring Mod the God. You put on Mod's channel. And it's going to bring all the subs together. And it's going to break the internet. Like, what do y'all think? Comment and let me know. Um, this shit is just crazy. Like, where is that stuffed animal? Why is he not saying anything? You know, he probably is um, throwing a little, you know how people be with the tweets and shit, trying to make it indirect. We'll see now that Mod has, you know, uploaded his his questionnaire. <laughs> I don't think any of his subscribers wrote those questions, y'all. If you go watch his video, which you should, um, on his life update, I think he wrote all them questions, which was smart, but hilarious at the same time. Because I'm like, now you know damn well the motherfucking subscribers he got did not ask them damn. Everything is angled so perfectly, like like a very good interview. Like, if you don't get out of here, boy. But anyway, y'all, <laughs> um, he's going to say even more. So we're going to hear just a little bit more and then I'll come back with my commentary but in the meantime please feel free to drop y'all comments on how y'all feel about this shit and do y'all think chris is going to be down with it i remember patty was reacting to chris um uh, chris sells boxing match and also reacting to his blind date videos and he was sipping his henny and having a good ass time and cracking the fuck up like i don't know it was just the vibes for me i was like damn in a in a different in a parallel universe they would make good friends but it looks like they just might start being cool. Damn, I done fucked your bitch and took your friend. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Other than, other, than, other than nigga BJ, BJ done gave me $40 for the studio, you know, when I needed some studio bread or some shit like that. Wait a goddamn minute. I didn't think I would be back this soon. Did he just say his friend BJ? Gave him $40 when he needed some studio time. He needed that bread for studio time. What the fuck is going on, y'all? Please comment below. If you have a manager, this is why I'm starting to think, like, I don't know. Something just ain't right. You ha you're supposed to have a budget, right? And your studio time is top priority. It First of all, why does Queen Nigel not have a, a studio in every home that she has? It's not like the, the answer is going to be because she doesn't want one. That wouldn't make any sense because then you can go record whenever you want. Kind of like the artist Lil Durk. He has a studio in his basement. He drops songs like every other day just because he can. He could go downstairs and record that shit and, and drop can, and just make millions of... Bro, he's getting millions of views like every other day. I don't understand. Like I see um, Patty set up an area... It looks like in his house, like where he can record. But bro, y'all supposed to have a nice ass studio at this point. Like, I'm just confused. I really don't understand why they don't have a studio that they can, like maybe it will be paid for, for the month or for the year where they can go unlimited or like, bro, what? Like, you know how you just make that face. You're just so confused. Like, I don't get it. Even when Queen and, um, you know, they had that big-ass house and the bear wanted to talk about foosball tables and shit like that, um, I believe she mentioned a studio and he kind of 
changed the subject real quick and talked about a pool table or a foosball or some bullshit. And I'm like, yo, are you serious? This is her career. If you have a studio in your home, you're going to be very motivated. Like, you can go downstairs and record whenever you want to. What? And then all you got to do is get it mixed down and everything. You can have your own engineer that... Uh, somebody comment and tell me what's wrong. I don't understand that part. But anyway, I ain't even going to stay on that too long, y'all. He's going to, you know, say more. But in the future, she probably should look into getting her own studio. Um, it will help her push out music whenever she feels like it. As a matter of fact, she did a Q&A recently and said something along the lines of uh, that's one of her biggest downfalls, taking too long to put music out, new music. And my thing is, if you have a studio downstairs, you'll be highly motivated. You you can record whenever. Like, it's just too many benefits with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that, like, will probably be a good question to ask her why she doesn't have her own studio. Like, I can imagine me being an artist. I'll be upstairs probably just, just writing because I, I can't wait to go see how it's going to sound. And one more thing. If she, like, if Queen happens to hear this video... Stop overthinking when it comes to your music. Petty, same thing. Stop overthinking. I guarantee y'all got some hits that will go crazy if y'all drop it, but y'all keep overthinking it. I guarantee y'all that you probably make the craziest shit, right? And then go back and start tweaking it and not messing it up, but just taking away from it. If you feel like something is hot the first time, put it out and see what people think without overthinking it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all, let's listen to what else he's going to say. Please drop your comments. Other than those moments when I was fucking trying to make it, you feel me? This has all been a self-investment. You feel me? And in six years, I'm proud of myself where I got. But I feel like with a little bit more money and budget and just exposure and just more people knowing about my talent, it would be easy. With a little bit more money and budget and just exposure, and just more people knowing about my talent, it would be easy. Cause it's like, once you hear it, <laughs> you fear it. You know what I'm saying? Like, story time on your whole YouTube career, how you first started and how it's going. I'm not gonna lie, my YouTube career, long story short, starts with me in Buffalo with a dream to be a rapper, uh, reactions every day, built that up to about 40K. Um, I moved back to New York. Uh, C wanted to be on YouTube, wanted to do the YouTube thing. He was, he was, uh, he had, he was in, we was both in the same situation in our mom's crib. We started doing videos together. Um, we was doing pretty well. Um, I got a Nike tech suit on today. <laughs> then Queen comes to the occasion. That blows shit up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take this money. Take this money. Oh Ain't no way you can take this from To a whole nother level. Um, we was the hottest shit in these streets at one point. I'm the big doof, you heard? I'm the big doof. <laughs> Went on tour, uh, shit. And now my YouTube story is like, I feel like it's kind of restarting. I think this is my new part of my journey. Mm, 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 mm. You feel me? But that was my, yeah, that's, this is my new part of my journey for the most part, I think. Like, this is like, when you know, I establish, you know, the MOD nigga, you know what I'm saying? Um, the 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 nigga on flow, you gonna boogie night, you gonna boogie all night. Um, why you and Queen don't collab more, y'all music would be fire. Um, First of all, Queen's a big artist, so I understand that she just can't do fucking assault me every week. Um, me and Queen did do have more love. If you haven't heard it, go stream that. And um, because of more love, technically, Queen has to meet Queen as like ha not has to, but like technically. What the fuck? Queen has to meet Queen as like ha not has to, but like technically. She owes me a feature for a project of mine. <laughs> She owes me a feature for a project of mine. So I just haven't used, uh, I guess, that chip yet because it's like I want to make the right moment. I want to write the right song and be like, nah, this is the one. So I can make some timeless because I feel like what's the point of me and Queen doing something? I feel like More Love should be a timeless song, but uh, 
It kind of gets swept under the rug because of Queen's whole career. Even though it got like 5 million streams. So I don't know what swept under the rug is for other people. But she be getting 40 and 100 million streams. So y'all get what I mean in, in comparison. And um, yeah. So there's definitely another Queen in my record. In the universe. You know what I'm saying? I just don't feel like I wrote the right song. Even at times I have wrote the right song. I'm going to be like, damn, I didn't put a hook on this. I don't want Queen to just freestyle on this. So, yeah, I'm just looking for the right song. I'm not going to lie. And the right project and the right situation, like, when it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I feel like half, I feel like part of this fan base, not to be too long-winded about this, half this fan base isn't going to really appreciate a, a modern Queen song like it's supposed to be appreciated. So, I feel like I got to make something bigger than the fan base. If that makes sense, because it just be like, oh, he did a song with his friend instead of like, if a nigga, the little man's in his hood, do a song with Queen, it's like, oh my god, you got a Queen Naja feature. It's just like, oh, how do you Queen finally did a record? You feel me? Don't call me that shit, but that's what I get. That's the thought process. No wonder her name's Miss Mars. <laughs>